in Germany. Three parties have been leading the poll since May in the race for the Bundestag. In a bid to attract voters, Christian Democrat Armin Lachette plans to focus on efficient market economy tools to meet the Paris climate goals. On a social level, he says he wants to boost the construction of more than 1.5 million new homes in Germany by 2025 through tax relief and cutting bureaucracy. The main difference between the SPD and the CDU concerns the role of the state. SPD candidate and finance minister Olaf Scholz wants to avoid further restrictions on immigration, a stable minimum pension and a minimum wage of 12 euros an hour. Scholz has promised to return as soon as possible to the budgetary rules enshrined in the EU constitution, but Conservatives have accused him of wanting to prolong the European solidarity mechanism and turn the EU into a Europe of debt. For the Greens, internet access and digitalization are closely linked to democratic rights and participation. Their programme puts emphasis on infrastructure development financed through debt. Its candidate Annalena Baerbock is calling for a new start and a change of policy by quickly moving away from coal as a source of electricity and allowing only emission-free cars on the road. It seemed clear that either the SPD or the CDU will head any future government alongside two other partners. Possible combinations include the Kenya coalition, the German coalition or the traffic light coalition. This last coalition is more likely as the Liberals are more pragmatic. The leader of the FDP, Christian Lindner, looks set to emerge as a crucial figure and some already see him as the next finance minister.